Okay, so this is section 11.2, day two. Still talking about parabolas. What we're going to talk about today is reverse engineering, as I like to call it. Equations. So you did this in Algebra 2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get certain information, for example, they may tell us that the vertex of our parabola is at negative 3, 1. And they'll tell us that our focus is at negative 6, 1. And we want to write the equation of the parabola in standard conic form. The key to doing these correctly is you need to sketch the graph. Even though they didn't ask us to draw the graph, the sketch is how you're actually going to organize your information. If all you're doing is looking at the information they gave you in number form, you're not going to know what you're doing. You're going to be kind of splashing around in the dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph our vertex, which is at negative 3, 1. That's our vertex. I'll put a little v there. We have our focus at negative 6, 1. I'll put a little f there. And so clearly, because the focus is to the left of the vertex, we know that our parabola must be opening to the left. So just sketch a generic kind of parabola that opens the correct direction in there. Now we can see very clearly that since this is opening in the x direction, we know that x is going to be on the side with 4p. So we know this is going to be a y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Remember the h always goes with x, the k goes with y. So we've already got our generic formula that we need to plug into. Our job is to replace the h, k, and the p. Always write down this generic formula to start with because it shows you where you're headed. So we can see from our vertex that this is our h and this is our k, so we can plug those in right away. So this becomes y minus 1 squared is equal to 4p times x minus negative 3, and of course x minus negative 3 becomes x plus 3. So all we have left to do now is find p. And remember that p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. And so we can see that we have to go three units to the left, which is the negative direction. So we know p is negative 3. And since p is negative 3, we can plug that in. And simplifying, we get y minus 1 squared is equal to negative 12 times x plus 3. We're done. That's the whole problem. Quick and easy. But the keys to the whole thing are, number one, this right here. And number two, the big one, is this guy right here. You need to sketch the picture so that you can organize your information graphically. That way you get your eyes and your brain working together instead of against each other. Otherwise, you kind of get lost as to what this is really telling us. This way we can see which way it opens, so we know which starting formula to use, etc. So we actually do this first and then this. Um, that's the way we want to approach these. So let's take a look at another example. So they won't always give you the vertex and the focus. They can give you all kinds of different combinations. So for example, number two, they may give us, let's say, the focus, which is at 2, 4. And let's say they give us the directrix. which is y equals negative 2. Again, the key to the whole thing, sketch the information so that we can see what's going on. It makes life so much easier. So 2 comma 4 is the focus. So I'm going to label that f so that I don't accidentally think it's my vertex. y equals negative 2 is going to be down here. So clearly, we know that this thing has got to open up because it's got to curve around its focus, it's got to go away from its directrix. The question is, where is our vertex? Well, remember that the distance from the vertex to the focus is the same as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. And since these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units apart from each other vertically, we're just going to go down 3 units from the focus to the vertex. And if we go down 3 more, we get to our directrix. So it's very easy to find where our vertex is. So now we know our vertex is at 2, 1. We now know our h and our k. We can see very clearly this is going to open up, which means this is opening in our y direction. It's vertical. 
So we know that this is going to have y on the side with 4p. So it's going to be 4p times y minus k, which makes this side x minus h squared. We know our h and our k, so we plug them in. So y minus 1. And now our job is to just fill in the p. And we can see from our picture that we have to go up 1, 2, 3 units for p to get to the focus from the vertex. So p is equal to positive 3. x minus 2 squared equals 4 times 3 times y minus 1. And so that gives us x minus 2 squared is equal to 12 times y minus 1. And there's another flavor of these kind of problems. So they're going to give you all kinds of different combinations of information. Um, they can give you things involving the x-intercepts or the y-intercepts. Again, if you sketch the picture, that'll give you an idea of what you're actually working with. They'll tell you that it has y-axis symmetry or x-axis symmetry. That's going to give you clues as to coordinates of the vertex, things like that. Um, without sketching the picture, you'll be completely lost. With sketching the picture, it'll start to fit into place, and they're not too bad. Sometimes they'll tell you that uh, the focus of the parabola is the center of a circle, and you'll have to do the completing the square stuff to find the center of the circle, but then you know the focus. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of extra work to get there, but again, sketching the picture is going to help you see what you need to do. These are usually pretty quick problems for the most part. So that's really all there is to this lesson. Um, so go through, you can see um, you know, the variety in the lesson. I don't think there's too much in the way of actual other examples of this particular kind of problem in the book. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to you know, figure out what to do. And if not, then you've got me and your fellow students in class tomorrow to take a look at it. And that's it. <laughs>